Hello guys, welcome to Lovely Discover channel. My name is Julia. And my name is JJ. We are a backpacker couple traveling the world on a budget. We are sharing common information and our own experience about the places and attractions we've been. And today we are in Beirut. We will discover all about the Beirut, which is the capital city of Lebanon. And we spent around 12 hours to discover the city. To be honest, we didn't know much about this country. It seems like perfect destination for holidays, but due to recently ended civil war, there are not so many tourists there. The main reason for the civil war was a disagreement between Muslims and Christians. Officially, the civil war ended in 1990s, but even recently the explosion was continuing, which last one happened in 2016 in a cinema located in a city center. When it comes to architecture, Beirut is a city of contrast from the modern European looking center with luxury shops and restaurants to the old have destroyed buildings with traces of war. It seems like Beirut want to be a Paris of Middle East again, so you can find constructions of new buildings everywhere. The currency they use is Lebanese pounds, and the official language is Lebanese Arabic, but it seems like they use their car horn more than the verbal language due to underground traffic. But jokes aside, we didn't have any hard time communicating with locals, as most of them can speak very good English. We didn't find information how to reach city center from airport to underground taxi, which cost around $20. There are bus uh, signs all around the airport, but in fact, nobody knows about this service. So we decided to hitchhike, and in a few minutes, we found a guy who gave us a lift. Transportation within Beirut is not too convenient either. There are lots of buses around, but most of them doesn't have any number or any other information with number. Throughout our journey within the city, we didn't come across any bus stop, and for the journey we took, we paid 1,000 Lebanese pounds. Because of mixed culture and religion, there are lots of food to choose from. The most popular is hummus. You will find it as a side dish, the majority of food you order. We didn't have too much time in Beirut, so one of the first things that we checked was Mohammed Al Amin Mosque, which is also known as Blue Mosque. The entrance to the mosque was free. According to the architect, the Blue Mosque has an autonomous inspiration, copying the Sultan Ahmed Mosque in Istanbul. The second thing we checked was the downtown of Beirut. It's a central district of the city with shops and restaurants. There is a clock tower in the center of the square where you can feed the birds. Downtown is a small area which you can explore by foot. Walking in this area, you can feel like you are in Paris. The last location we checked out was Hanamitri. Here you can find one of the best ice creams in the world. It's a really small and old looking shop. Price for free scoop ice cream is around 2 euros, so you can try as many flavors as you want. The thing which I like the most were people, because they are so friendly and helping us everywhere, like the guy who took us from the airport. Yeah, and also after when we landed the city, and the guys just helped us to find a location where we can drop our bags. Like about the city, for me, it was shocking because when we are in the center of the Beirut, it looked amazing. Like, don't be scared to come there, it's really safe. 